you're okay. You're a bit ordinary, but you're okay. It's like me. Just a normal person, really. But, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> no, <laughs> none of that's true. Listen, you are perfect. And you're unique. And you're beautiful. And fascinating. And powerful. And important. And many other wonderful things besides. And so am I, actually. We all are. And beyond this kind of the physical thing we see, we're all one. Light that is one, though the lamps be many. That's a song from, that's a lyric from a song called Douglas Traherne Harding. Look it up, it's really good. So we're all one, but we get to have this fun thing where we experience life as this multiplicity of different characters. Now this video is about the Enneagram, and sometimes I can ramble, so I'm going to be quite concise. It's going to have three parts. It's going to be about superheroes, then it's going to be about tri-types, and then it's going to be about just a quick reflection on my other videos. I'll come to that in a minute. So first of all, superheroes. Now, from my understanding of the Enneagram, I've realised that it's much more useful to focus on the particular strengths of each Enneagram type than worry too much about the, the weaknesses. Because when we're using our strengths, we get energised and we feel this sense of lighting up and, and passion and like, this is what I was born to do. And really, they're our superpowers. We are superheroes. We're not just ordinary people and we're not just characters. We are heroes with a mission. So use the Enneagram to really be able to articulate your strengths and then start to craft your life so you're using your strengths more and more and then you will be having a uh, not only a good life and not only a happy life, but also an extremely exciting and fulfilling one because you'll be fulfilling your mission on planet Earth. So, that's the superhero bit done. Next bit is tri-types. Uh, just a quick rewind to when I was 19 and I got a book from my mum all about different sorts of types of people and I immediately honed in on the Enneagram and then found another book, Personality Types, from Rizzo and Hudson at the library and then I thought, oh my goodness, I am a four and it really summed me up. And then I spent lots of years thinking I was a four and then I realised I was a four with a three wing because all the types have wings. So that was good because it was a bit more of a specific definition of, of what I was. And then I discovered, oh, there's 27 subtypes, because each of the nine types can be split up into either your self-preservation, or your social, or your sexual. And I realised, okay, I'm a social four with a three wing. Mm, brilliant. I read a book, The Complete Enneagram. It's a Beatrice Chestnut book. I recommend that. And she's got a, such a good way of explaining these subtypes and um, it, it sums them up very well. So that was great, even more specific. And then I had a really nice chat with my friend Janice on, uh, on, on, on Skype. And he's got a great website and I'm going to edit in the um, link there. So look at his website. And we were talking about tri-types and I'd heard of the concept. And, um, but only when he was telling me about it did it really kind of ring true. And suddenly it opened up this whole new realm. I was like, oh my goodness, because I'd identified with being a four so strongly, I didn't realise I was also really strongly a seven and really strongly a nine as well. And th that was... That was wonderful for me, and it really helped me not only understand myself, but also to, um, to, to live a more kind of efficiently happy life. Because what I was starting to be able to do more is that when I accepted my sevenishness, is in those situations where it's great to be a seven, like if you're at a party and you want to get everyone 
you know, in a party mood, I would be able to be just slip into that much more easily because I was taking ownership of that sevenish side of me. And if I was um, you know, with someone who was, you know, finding it difficult or they were in, they were stressed, I'd be able to slip into the the nineishness, yeah, much more easily and kind of put them at ease and. And so that's that's wonderful. It's just like feeling like I'm slipping in and out of these roles more more easily. And with Janice also, we talked about the fact that really we think that we're every single type just at different layers, which is just this wonderful thing because it means the Enneagram is not some labelling thing where you label this person as a four or a one or an eight and that's it. Actually, we all have all of them in us, but just in these wonderfully fascinating, unique combinations. But the tri-types, finding out that there are three main ones is a brilliant thing to do. And I'm not going to do a video on every single one, I don't have time, but I do recommend you discover your tri-types. And that leads me on to the um, last bit, which is about my last videos. Now, I'm, I'm delighted that I had this urge to, to share about each type. I've got a video for happiness for type one, happiness for type two, etc. And it was just my way of giving some tips about uh, ways to lighten up because I'm a firm believer that we can take life less seriously and also find more, more happiness and, and peace within ourselves quite simply as long as we start positive momentum going. Um, but it was also my way of kind of showing my expression of the types. Now, I'm not an academic, I haven't read every single book, and I look at some of the videos and I think, oh, is that quite right? Have I explained that quite right? Probably not. But I'm not too worried about that. But looking back over those videos, I'm going to leave them on YouTube, because I think there's some good bits in each one where I've kind of shown uh, certain elements of the types. So, so that's fine. But I was reflecting on them and thinking, it is a bit limited in terms of I don't talk about the tri-types or the wings or the subtypes. So just bear that in mind, please, if you um, are enjoying looking at those Enneagram videos. That there's a lot more. There's a lot more to explore and it's wonderful fun to treat the Enneagram and your discovery of your main type as the start of a journey. But from that moment onwards, you can continually be refining your, your understanding of yourself and continually, as I said before, crafting your life towards being able to shine as the amazing, unique combination of strengths and powers and wonder that you are. So... Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I got that from other people on YouTube. Lots of people say that at the end of their videos. So please subscribe. Enjoy your day or your night. Bye.